Hello and welcome to the Art Market Podcast. Hi, I'm here with a talented Tracy Meek. Now, a little bird told me that you've won Best Presented Stand. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it, for your first Art Market? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. So your second award, really, because your first award was winning winning yeah. the newcomer. Yeah, yeah. So actually, you've, yeah. you know, you've got two awards. Yeah. Which is a good, it's a good, it was, it's a good start. It was a really nice surprise. Though. I wasn't really expecting it. Yeah. So you've had a good day today. Have you sold well? Yeah, really well. Um, main thing that I've sold is cards, yes. uh, which seems to be quite a running thing, really. Yeah. Well, they're very good. I think you've sold mine, actually, that I wanted. Yeah, I've got a print, though. <laughs> oh, there you go. I might have to find some money for that one. But, but yes, and so what's been your, so yeah, that's been your bestseller then, is your mm-hmm. cards? Yeah. So can you, can you just explain, we've, we've had a podcast on you um, earlier, so that's already on the Art Market blog. So have you been looking around the Art Markets and found anything for yourself? Have you been buying anything? Um, I've seen a bag that I'm going to get. Oh, yeah. where's that? That's Kathy Edwards? Uh, yes, just the real flat leather stuff. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I've got one myself, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need a nice bag to like, go out and stuff. I've just yeah. got like, loads of scruffy bags. So what's next for you, then, after the Art Market? Do works with festival. I've got that exhibition coming up in London. Where's that going to be? That's at the Cafe Province in Hearn Hill. Oh, well, good luck for the rest of the art market. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you in November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, I'm here with mixed media artist Gillian Lee Smith. Hello, Gillian. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Now, I know why you've got a big beaming smile on your face. It's because you've won the Art Market's Outstanding Artist Award, which was brilliantly presented to you by Claire Lilly from the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. How are you feeling? I'm really pleased, overwhelmed actually. It's my first ever award for my artwork, so I'm delighted. Your first ever award? Oh my goodness. (laughs) Well, there was a little bit of a tear in your eye when you received the award, wasn't yeah, there? It was a bit embarrassing, but yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's not a... embarrassing at all. It just shows you how you're overwhelmed, aren't you? Yes. So it's really good. How's the art market been for you? It's been really good. And <laughs> I've just met so many lovely people. I haven't had a chance to look around yet, but I'm hoping to do that later on because uh, I can just see that the quality of the work is amazing on the other stalls. So I've really, really enjoyed it. When you've left the art market, what's next for you? I have an upcoming exhibition at... Um, um, New Brewery Art, which is in Sirencester, um, and that's called The Art of Childhood, so I will be preparing work for that. Oh. That's the next thing. And, and for everybody listening, can you tell us a little bit about the background of your work and what inspires you? Yep, um, I studied performance costume at Edinburgh College of Art, um, and I really just started painting after I graduated in 2005, and I was very much inspired by storytelling and character and costumes and fairy tales uh, and once I started painting I really just wanted a way of bringing the characters in the paintings to life a little bit more and that's how I started making the 3D textile characters and then the clay characters have just come around in the last couple of months so they're quite new to yeah. my work. Now I can see that in your work though you know they're, they're full of they're full of character you, know, you almost feel like they're going to talk to you or start moving. Yes, yes. They, do, they definitely have a story behind them and they're not cute they're not uh, jovial characters they are quite whimsical and melancholy I suppose but yeah. I think that makes people ponder what their background is and yeah I get asked lots of questions about where they where the ideas come from. No it's really mm-hmm. good and thank you so much for um, taking the time out to um, be interviewed and uh, good luck with the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. If you would like to know more about the art markets go to www.artmarkets.co.uk